Hi guys, good evening. Good evening. Hi Ovidio, hi Stephanie, hi Hennessy. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your day so far? How was your Tuesday? Kind of relaxed. Okay. Ovidio, where do you work? Stephanie, where do you work? Genesis, where do you work? Tell me about you. Mm -hmm. Ovidio Bautista, I work in Etesal. Mm -hmm. Etesal is a company, electrical company. Like guys? I'm like guys. Uh -huh. Okay, in my, my day, it was very busy. I must imagine. What are you doing at the side? Like, what's your occupation? I'm an electrical engineer. Ah, okay. I, nice. I, I do the maintenance of the equipment of the... Uh, equipment e equipment for high voltage. Yeah, high voltage. Okay, great. Nice. My father used to work in guys. He worked there like for 35 years, I think. Um, he was a mechanical, electrical mechanical engineer. He had like two, two majors. So he had both electrical and also mechanical engineer. Okay, what's his, his name? His name was Francisco Salaverria. Mm, okay. Oh, I but know. he worked there like 35, you know, when, when Caes was Caes, before becoming private, I think, before coming, when it was still under the government management, I think. Okay. Stephanie, where do you work? Um, I work in Ekimsa. It's a company that uh, it's a company for maintenance equipment, but equipment, medical equipment make equipment or medical equipment maintenance. That exactly, mm -hmm. and I am a um, biomedical engineer. Okay. And biomedical engineer okay nice and that's all i i <laughs> see all the day oh. just medical equipment mm -hmm. okay okay great nice interesting so anytime you describe something it always goes whatever it describes it before the profession so it's like you know or the company right so it's all the medical equipment supplies medical equipment and then the noun so it always goes what describes what you're talking about before it before that main word mm -hmm. oh okay nice okay um ricardo iris good evening how are you good evening tell me about you where do you work iris i Hello, work I work at Compañía Azucarera Salvadoreña. Okay. I'm a psychologist and I work in the human resource area. Oh, okay, great. Okay, mm -hmm. nice, interesting. Mm -hmm. La Azucarera, that's where, you know, they make sugar, right? Sugar cane, yes. Sugar cane. Sugar cane is actually... Sugar, the, yes, is, is sugar. the... The plant, mm -hmm. sugar the cane plant, is like yes. the plant, and then sugar. And the product is the sugar. <laughs> okay, yeah, sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I work at Sonsonate. I I travel uh, to Sonsonate every day. Wow. Yes, I live in in San Salvador, but okay. I travel daily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. My dad's family was from son, son, from Huayua. I think there's a lot uh -huh. of like Salaverrias in Huayua. Somewhere yes, there's in Sonate, I've heard. But I'm not like on the rich side, okay? I'm just one of the, the poor Salaverrias. Okay, great. 
Okay, thank you. Ricardo, good evening. How are you? Fine, how about you? Great. Tell me about you. Where do you work? Okay, I work at DHL. I am the head of the uh, inter integra integrated warehouse of services. Okay. Yeah, uh, we we uh, we make um, services of warehousing and and transportation. Okay. Yeah. Warehousing like bodegas or warehousing as in um, um at a big magnitude, right? You're talking about the big one, not the regular. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we have two sites. Yeah, one of them is uh, 10,000 square meters. Yeah, and okay. the other one is like 3,000. Okay, wow, 10,000? Pretty big. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> okay, it's great. Okay, nice. Um, Let's see, Aldo. Hello, good evening. How are you? Sadie, Hello, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know Aldo, no, <laughs> right? Sorry. Okay, okay, present yourself worry. to them because they don't know about you. So tell them a little bit about you. Where do you work? Okay, good evening, everybody. My name is Aldo Sari Castro. Um, I work at CEPA Aeropuerto, uh, International Airport of uh, San Arnulfo Romero. Okay. I, I am an aeronautical information specialist. And my job consists to to give briefing to the crew members, pilots and dispatchers about the about the flight plan or the planning of the flight. Okay. So you're not the one that the YMCA guy on the. On no, the... no, no, no. Okay, okay. No, I'm not. Just no, for I'm them not. to know, okay, that you're not the white, the one with the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know that, but no, uh, I okay. just uh, made, uh, made the first contact with the crew members at the airport, mm -hmm. and we receive and um, we check about everything on the flight and and if everything is okay with the national and uh, international regulation, we mm -hmm. accept the flight plan and we authorize them to to leave. Oh, okay, great. Great, nice. Thank you, Aldo. And, and, and also we are in charge about the whole aeronautical publication from our country. Ah, wow. So it's like, makes us proud, right? Like Salvadorian in charge of the entire. Nice, it's a big deal. Thank you. Yep, my pleasure. Sara, good evening. How are you? I think Sara is connecting to audio, Sara. Hello, Sara. Good evening. I think you're in mute. Maybe we cannot listen to you. Hello? Like you're, it's, oh, there you go. Okay. 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 Thank you. Hi, Sara. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Um, I'm, uh, <laughs> the most important of me is that I'm a single mother. <laughs> oh, okay. I, have, I have my little girl uh, next to me because when I uh, feel like a part of her in the night when she's asleep, uh, she is look, looking for me. Mm, okay. Nice. Yes. Okay. I work in, um, in a place that I am an instructor of uh, AutoCAD in Microsoft Office and Photoshop. And okay. I'm an IT support. Wow, AutoCAD. AutoCAD is a very difficult program, right? Like, like not everybody's able to use it like super fast. It takes a lot of practice and it's very techy somewhere, there, right? Yes, it's, that's true, that's true. Okay. Interesting. Now, now we know. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Rosie. How are you? Can I listen to you? Hi, Rosie. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you back. How are you? I'm fine. 
Okay. You, Tell us a little bit about yourself because, you know, not everybody, since we have you guys and you guys that were with me before. So tell them a little bit about you. Where do you work, Rosie? Uh, I am work Techno Avance. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do in Techno Avance? Uh, What's your occupation? Uh, I am uh, encargada de créditos y cobros. Okay, so how would you say that, guys? In English. Encargada de créditos y cobros. Help me. How would you say that? Help me, please. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Cobros. <laughs> okay. So she's in charge of credits and what's, what was the other word? How do you say cobros? Collect. No, you're Googling it right now. I know you're Googling it. <laughs> I can see. Let's see who Googles it first. So how do you say cobros? Help me. I just don't remember the word for cobros. I don't know. I don't know. And you said that we can use Google. No, and yeah, you can, use, is, you can use is, Google. Ah, we can use, okay. Yeah, you can use, and you Google, can use saying Google. Google is, is a saint. Uh -huh, it's it's a your saint. saint. Charge. Charge. Yes. Charge. Charge. Charge is, it's, mm, give me another synonym for that. There should be another word instead of, one of the things that you can do whenever you look for a word, I don't know if I, I have shared this with you before, um, let me see if I can do it here. Whenever you're looking for a word, go to Google, but don't use traductor. Try to stay away from translator. So if you have the okay. word or you have an, an idea and you say, okay, payroll, payroll synonyms, for example. Mm -hmm. And then you start looking for words here and then look for the synonym or look for the meaning of the word that you're looking for. And instead of using the translator, because sometimes okay. the words that you're looking for are not like really the ones that you want. Another thing that can help you is look for the images. So if you're looking for a word and let's say you don't know what um, surcharge is. Just, just to give it. Okay, so surcharge is an extra fee. No, let me give you a word, uh, a word that you can actually see. Um, the other day we were talking about horse carriage I think with somebody so and then you start looking for is it this one the one I was talking about is it this one so you can actually go and start oh old ones oh okay old-fashioned and then on all the way until you find the word that you actually because remember we're very visual so by looking at examples like this we'll you know a we will expand our vocabulary versus using translator and that way you don't get used to the translator a lot so try to work with synonyms try to work with images and try to work with meanings okay so okay. what happens when you don't know the word so you would say um okay i didn't know carriage was the word so i would say horse car so i google it and eventually something like this will come up and then under the picture or the image it will start giving me the options and then i have to look for the specific one or the one that that goes along with the context or whatever it is that i'm, I'm referring to okay so it's something that I, I suggest especially you guys are in the intermediate level okay so try to stay away from the translator use the translator just for like very specific things because if i was to use okay traductor first of all you do this okay so then you say uh, what was the what was the department again? Cobras, yeah, right? it Cobras. Okay, mm -hmm. so then if I was to okay, it says charge. Charge, charge is the yes. verb. So what do you do here? You just go down and then you start looking for synonyms. Okay, mm, and it's actually, collection. This is actually this is the direct action. So cobros charge is the direct action, but the department for her it's called collections. So it's credits and collections, but they're different departments because credits is one thing and collections is something else. So collections is like the department where she works for that she works. Okay, so she's head of of the the collections department or she's head of um 
payroll department or she's head of credit department, okay? So this is what I, I do because sometimes the word that it gives you, so see here, it gives you synonyms, yes, but then you go, oh, okay, collections. So what do you do just to make sure that that's the word that you're looking for? Simple. You go here and since you looked it up, you go collections meaning. First you look for if it actually exists. If it exists in Google, when you write it down, collections department, then you know exactly what it is, okay? <coughs> and then it gives you the definition for it. All righty, mighty, getting started. So we're gonna use paper for this activity. The first activity I have, we're using paper. So if you have a paper there and a marker or a pen, please um, use it and we all are going to do something. In a piece of paper, I'll give you one minute for you to look for paper, okay? So run for us, run for us, run for us. <laughs> and I'm sorry, you're gonna have to use the camera for this one. Are you able to see my screen right now? Are you able to you. see this adorable, cute pigs? <laughs> no. Can you see them? No. No. You can't? Okay. Okay, let's see. Can you see them now? Yes. Yes. No. No. No? No, 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 no. Can you see them now? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. So in your piece of paper, this is just an example, so don't copy my examples, please don't copy them. So in a piece of paper, I need you to draw a pig. Pig? There are, a pig, yeah, draw a pig. Okay. okay. Not our, our entire pig, right? It's, it's just the circles and two circles here and two circles here and you yeah. know, that. kindergarten pig, don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. All of you have to do the activity because it's individual. For this exercise to be successful so you all have to do a pick and then you're going to have to show it to us so you're going to draw a pick like this one we're going to have a this is a psychological test it's called ah, the no. pig. I'm a psychologist, <laughs> remember. <laughs> okay, so you're going to tell me if it actually works yeah. or not, if it's actually true or not, okay? So it's okay. called the pig personality test. <laughs> and yes, to learn new vocabulary before we go into My phrasal God. verbs, uh -huh. part two. Today we're going to be talking about phrasal verbs, part two. But before we do that, I want to do the test. Okay, I'm finished. Finished? Okay, yes. show us your picture. Oh my god. Okay, just you have to show give your... me time because I forgot. Okay, okay, I'm here. And my pig is here. Okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, nice pig. Nice pig. Okay, so leave it there, okay? Leave oh it that god. way. That way we, because we're going to make an analysis. So mm -hmm. whenever you guys are ready, please show us your pig the same way Sarah is doing, okay? I finished. Show us your pig. Okay, so oh, it doesn't copy me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, nice. Oh, thank you. You draw, you draw very nice. Oh, yeah, thank it's you. super adorable. <laughs> Thanks. Whenever you're finished, let me know. Will, Ricardo's missing. Rosie, Ovidio, Hugo. Here. <laughs> Where's your pigs? I don't see your pigs. <laughs> Sadie, I don't see your pig. Wilbur, I, I don't see your it. pig. Are you still drawing it? Okay. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, okay. Mm Are you ready with your pigs? Are you still drawing it, Wilbert? Are you still drawing it? <coughs> Patty, how are you doing with your pigs? Rosie, still drawing it? Ricardo, where's your pig? Here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm really bad drawing. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> 
I had to get this from the internet. I didn't draw. The most important is your pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> Not your pick. <laughs> yes, remember. The, the most important is to check on the new words, to check out if those words or those traits, the characteristics go along with your personality according to the pick that you draw. So that's the idea. We're going to find out. Sunny, that's a nice one, okay? My, the, my pick is just uh, eat, the, eat, eat, eat dinner. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's a, it's a chubby pig. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nice. <coughs> okay. Now we're going to analyze it. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to start giving you characteristics depending on how you drew your pick and you have to write them down. And then we're going to contrast if those words or those traits actually match the pick that you or that it match you and the way you are, okay? So are you ready? Let's check it out. Okay, let me see. Here it is. Are you able to see my screen? Do you see the pig? Like the chef yeah. pig? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what does my, my drawing say about my personality? Let's check it out. First one. Okay. Is your pig, it's your pig drawn to the top, to the middle, or to the bottom? In the middle. <laughs> Mine, is, is Mine to the left. left, more to the left. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. To the left and on the top. Yeah, to the left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to decide if it's top, middle, or bottom. Well, top. Top. Mine top. Middle. Okay, top. I guess what, do you, what do you mean? Old. On the old. page, on the page, to the uh -huh. top, on the middle okay. of the page, or all the way to the bottom. Okay, okay. Now, if it's on the top, this is what you're going to write. So you're going to have to write your, okay? If it's to the top, then you are positive and optimistic. So write it down if, you're, if you drew your pick to the top. If you drew your pick to the middle, you have to write realist. If it was on the top, in the top, you have, have to, to write, write positive and optimistic. Do you see my screen? Do you see the words on my screen? The yeah. Oh, okay. So top is positive and optimistic. That's your personality. Middle, realist. And if you drew your pick to the bottom of it, you are pessimistic. And tend to be negative Oof. so hopefully so hopefully nobody drew it to the bottom of it right nobody no. pessimistic no 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 good okay great next question question number two which pay attention because the details are very important which direction is your pig's body not the face the body facing is it facing left Right or front? The body, not the, the face. Or from left. Left, left, left. left, left. right left. or front? Okay, let's check it out. Let's find out what, what does it say. My front. Front. Are we talking about, uh, sorry, are we talking about uh, the right of the pig or my right on, on my view? Yes, Steph, your right. Okay. So it's to your left, to your right or to your front, okay? So if it's okay. towards the left, let's find out what it says. If it's towards the left, you believe in tradition. You're friendly and you believe in tradition. And you remember you're very good with birthdays. You remember <laughs> birthdays and dates. If it's drawn to the right, you are innovative, active, Nevertheless, you do not have a sense of humor and you forget dates. Hmm. Now, if your pig is looking forward, like front, then you are direct and you enjoy to argue with people and you love to have debates. Hmm. So write the characteristics that actually go with, with your, the position of your pig. Mm -hmm. And tell me when you're ready. 
So the first one is tradition. You believe in tradition, you're friendly, and remember dates. That's to the left. To the right, innovative, active, but do not have a good sense of humor, and you forget dates. And the last one, if, you're look, if it's looking forward, you are direct, and you enjoy to argue. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Next one. Let's see. Question number three. So, other than normal details, you know, the body, the legs, does your pig have other details? Like, did you, were you able to draw clouds or mountain or food? Like, details to it? Or was it plain? plain. It's just a pig. Just a pig. <laughs> yeah, plain. Okay, let's see. Let's find out. Okay, since you have less than five details, meaning that you didn't draw any details to your pig, you may be emotional, naive, and you just don't really care about details and tend to be a risk taker. You like to take risks. Okay, if you have a lot of details or if you notice that your pig is very detailed, then you are analytical, but you are destructful, meaning that you do not trust people easily. And you're very cautious when taking decisions. So you just think about them. Hmm. So if somebody comes up and tells you, hey, let's go to let's go to the beach tomorrow, you're like, huh, you give second thoughts on that. Oh, tomorrow it's Wednesday, I have to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you call in sick and leave to the beach. Okay. So less than five, if you didn't draw details, then you're the first option. If you actually drew details, then you're the second option, okay? Okay, but the word the words that you said were for the one of us who draw the pig plane, I only took uh, naive. What what are the others? Naive? You don't care about details? Or you're not like you just don't mind if they for example if they give you a present, just the present without the wrapping, that's fine with you. So you just don't mind about the details. And you're a risk taker. Risk taker. Yes, and tend to take risks. Mm -hmm. What was the first word you said? Naive. What is it? Naive. It's innocent and it could be careful because it could be used double sense too. Naive can be positive and negative. Naive is innocent in a good way, depending on the context, and naive innocent in a bad way, depending on the context. So it can be how, how do you spell negative. it? Oh, can you, you cannot see my screen then. No. Only, no. Only, the Only the pigs. Okay, you see? I was, I thought you would, it, were able to see it. Okay. Do you see it now? Yes. 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 Okay. Sorry. Na naive. Whenever you don't see the screen, let me know because I thought you were okay. The... Okay. So naive is that it's like it's another way of saying innocent, in a good way or in a in a bad way. It could be either or, depending on the context. Okay, our next one is, how many legs did you draw on your pig? Two or four or none? Four. Four, four, four. four. four or none? Four. Okay. Four. All of you four? Yep. Sure? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, it means that you are secure, but you are stubborn. Do you know what stubborn is? Yeah. yeah. Burro, necio, o terco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we all are, I right? That. Like in the end, in the end, we all are, right? Like we Salvadorans, we're, we're so stubborn. Yeah. And you stick to your ideals. So if you think of something, then you believe in it and then you stick to that. Okay? okay. So that's, that's actually stubborn, stubborn. Okay. And then we have if you have less than four legs, then it means that you are insecure and that you're going through 
a difficult situation in your life and you know a period of me changes you need something different so but that's if you have less than four legs but all of you are doing a great job good quality so mm -hmm. far okay next one question number five so how did you draw ears to your pig yes little big and our big or medium little, <laughs> little. little ears yeah. okay middle shame on you shame on you you're not very good listeners the larger the ears, the better listener you are. So if you have small ears, you don't listen to people. Hmm. You're very bad listening. <laughs> so the bigger your ears. And the last one, tell me about your tail. Did you draw a tail? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. yes. Now, how many, how many curls does your tail have? Just one, two. One, two. Okay, every curl is a word very, and it goes along with intelligence. So if you have one curl, you're very intelligent. If you don't have a tail, I'm sorry to tell you, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> so depending on the curls, that's how you, you know, very, very, very intelligent, so on, depending on, on how you draw it, okay? Now tell me, based on this, analysis of the pig personality test which characteristics go with you which ones don't go with you and so on so what we're going to do is i'm going to in groups i'm going to place you in break rooms okay so click accept so i'm going to make small groups and i want you to go into those groups and talk about whether it actually goes with you or it doesn't go with you and get to know your partners okay so i'm going to give you a couple of minutes to do that and then i'm going to bring you back to the main screen so we move okay. to phrasal verbs okay so let me send you to the break room. See you in a bit. Let me see. I'm going to make groups of, I'm just going to make three groups. Okay. Ta -da. There you go. So click accept, please. I'm asking you to join the break rooms. Okay. It's only the three of us. Yeah. I can I can see. Um what about you, Ricardo? Okay. What what does the yeah. figure say about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it says that I'm positive, I am optimistic, as he, he, I am agree with that. I am a direct person. Yes, I am direct. He says that I argue with people. I don't like to argue with people. Um, I don't care about details. Yeah, I don't care about details. If you give me, like the sample that the teacher said, if you give me a present without, uh, uh, how do you say? A wrapping? Uh -huh, without wrapping, yeah. I don't care. Uh, I'm a risk taker. Um, then maybe I, I am emotional. Then I'm I'm secure. I stick to to my ideals. Uh, yeah, I maybe rarely listen. No, I, I think I'm a good listener. And. And about the tail, it's I made a tree, tree. How do you say? Curls. Uh -huh, curls. I'm very, very, very intelligent. I don't know about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. How about you, Hugo or Aldo? Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, I'm positive. I'm optimistic. I'm direct. I don't like to argue to people, but uh, sometimes I, I do. Sometimes I do. 
sometimes more often than I want to, but <laughs> that means that I am stick to my ideals. So, um, I, but it's something important. Uh, I remember dates. I remember a lot of dates. And uh, when I can tell you that that I can I I have memories from when I was very very young, and uh, my pig was playing. So I, in certainly way, I'm I'm naive. I don't care. Uh, I don't care about the details, as you said. I'm a risk taker, and it's interesting that it says that I'm emotional. That part of me I never heard. But okay, let's let's say that I'm emotional. I can okay. see it. I drew four legs to the pig, so see it seems that I'm secure and I am stubborn. I am stubborn. I'm the king of the stubborns sometimes. And uh, I also draw three curls to my to my pigtail, so hi Beatrice. <laughs> so, what were you guys talking about? So, did you talk about the personality? Yes. Yes. Does it actually match you guys? Yes. I I I said uh, Ovidio that the only thing that I that I don't match is with the good listener because I'm a good listener. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And and you say that if if it's at the top and and the body is at the left, uh, we are not good listeners. But no, actually, if the ears, the ears are ah, the ears. Sorry. Feet. Well, if my ears. Big ears or small ears or medium ears? Yeah, medium ears. Oh, okay. Medium ears. Yeah. <laughs> but the people say that I'm a good listener, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, it's good that, that some of that, what happens, this is more like an introspective exercise. Yeah. Just to realize that, yeah, maybe I'm not being a good listener. Maybe I need to listen to, to people a little bit more. So it's more like an introspective to see if we yeah. are like in that emotional, developing that emotional side with people around us, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to visit another group. I'll see you in the main screen in a bit. Okay. 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 So we have the, we have uh, problems. Why? What happened? I don't hear. I barely hear to to Hennessy. So I don't know if if it's my 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 earphones or it's the microphone that she's too far away of the microphone. I don't know, but I barely hear. Hear her. Okay. Hennessy's talk. So I can I can listen to you. Can you speak? Hi. Yeah, it's very far away. Maybe um you you it I can listen to you, but very, very far away. Try to get closer to the phone or to the computer. Yeah, maybe she's very far away from the from the talk again. Yeah, it it seems like very far away, far away, far away. Stephanie, tell me about the personality uh, test. Did it match you, or were there some items in the list that didn't really match you? I think in some. Some things, yes, it did match, like uh, the uh, the positive and optimistic. Optimistic, mm -hmm. because um, I'm kind of a person of that way. Always optimistic and always positive. Okay. And no matter what it happens in my life or in external things that happens to me at work on in another. Uh, situation but I okay. always try to stay positive in everything okay and in the friendly um, 
I'm, I don't know, because I'm kind of kind of shy sometimes, uh, but I, I try my best every, in, in everything. Okay. But um, not so much friendly in a way that I can talk with, with too much people. But uh, in the, um, if we are talking about um, kindness um, and friendly, of course I will do it. Um, emotional, not so much, and like to take risk, yes, definitely. Um, okay. And the you are secure, yes, stubborn. Yes, and stick to your ideals. Always, I try to to always uh, get to my my goals, my objectives, and and I can say that the phrase "stick to your ideals" describes me a lot. Okay. And I'm a pretty good listener too, and. <laughs> about detail uh, very intelligent i don't know, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> we right. are all intelligent don't worry <laughs> okay thank you okay i'm gonna take you by back to the main screen okay because imagine <gasps> 9 42 we need to run to another activity okay yes okay <laughs> see you see you The sun broke through the mist. El sol atravesó la nieve. Our next phrasal verb is to brush. Okay, coquetators, welcome back. Okay, there you go. Everybody's joining back. Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, what do you think about this exercise? I was telling some of the groups that it's actually an introspective to whether we're good listeners at work or with our friends or people around us, whether we're emotional or not. Perhaps we are. It's just that we just don't show it because, you know, we're so stuck in the day to day that sometimes we're so busy with work that we just forget about that emotional side for a bit. Um, but it's always there. It's just that it's sleeping for some reason. Um, so it's more like an introspective to see where we're standing, where we're heading, if we like it or not, or, or just, you know, to analyze how, how we're doing and to develop, of course, new vocabulary. That way you guys have a little bit more words. Did you guys find yourself with new words right now that you, or words that perhaps you, you can now relate to according to your personality? Mm -hmm. Did you find new words for you? Like stubborn or any other new word that might be naive, for example? Are those new words for you? Or you already knew all the vocabulary that we went over, like all those traits and characteristics? Mm -hmm. no, for me, there, there were new, new words like naive and stubborn. Stubborn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. Actually, every time you have words with U, they become somehow like, oh, like stubborn or stubborn. instead of umbrella. Stubborn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. stubborn. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, great, guys. Well, we're, you know, time's running. It's 945. We're almost, oh my God, with you, time flies. It's incredible. Yeah. So we're going, we're running into another activity. Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about phrasal verbs. We spoke about one. Do you remember which one? Turn, turn, turn around, turn. turn around. Yeah, turn. <laughs> we actually talked about that one. Um, we have another one, okay, and that's um, which is part of the platform. I sent you a link, right? Mm -hmm. Um, this uh, website I like it a lot because it's an interactive. It's a live worksheet. You actually get the answers in the moment once you click submit or you just go down and finish the exercise. Um, the one that I want you to work on is this one with take, okay? Um, 
take to, take over, take out, take on, take off, take in, take back, take down. Let's try to do it together in context without going through the explanation because we're short on time. Let's try to see if we can do it, okay? Um, so it says here. Excuse complete. me? Yes. Where did you send the, the link? On our WhatsApp group. Are you? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. not I'm not at the WhatsApp button. Oh, okay. Let me let me send it here in this chat so that okay. way you can have it, okay? Great. Okay, I send that on the on, on the chat right now here through Zoom. Mm -hmm. That way you guys have access to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can access it if you're on your computer. Remember that from the cell phone, if the exercises have sound or options to like certain options, it's not gonna work for some reason with cell phones, it doesn't really work as much as with computers, okay? So if you if you encounter yourself with a little problem or inconvenience, it's because on cell phones, it's not, it doesn't really work. It works more on a, on a computer or an, on a tablet even. Um, so, um, it's you have to complete the sentences with after, away, back, down, in, off, on, out, over, around, to, or up. So let's try to do it together. When we last visited George, he took us. What do you think? When we last visited George, out. he took us um, out for a drink. He took us out. For a drink, very good, could be. Out, mm, yes. what do you guys think, you agree? Yes. Yeah. He took us out, took you out, right? So what, what happens when you take somebody out? You take that person, how can you describe take out? Or took out in this case, in the past tense, how can you describe that? What is it? Mm. When to, somebody made a made an invitation to us to to go to some place. Okay, when yeah, you receive uh, an invite, uh huh. When you receive an invite, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave your home to go somewhere else. Uh huh. When you leave home, go elsewhere. Very good. Elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Take the magazines number two. Take the magazines and put them on the bottom shelf. Take the magazines. Away. Mm -hmm. Take away. What is take away? It's another way of saying dispose them. Get rid of them. I don't want to yeah. see them. Okay? So take away. Take away. Take away that cat. I don't want to see it. You know, some people mm -hmm. just dislike cats for some reason. Or take away. Um, um, let me see another example. Uh, I'm trying to think of things that people dislike. You give me examples. Help me out. Take mm. away. It has take to be with someone. Mm -hmm. Take away your brother because he's going to mm. hurt you with the glasses. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so takeaways, like take it out of my sight. I just don't want to see it or him or it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I don't want to see this. It could be used with things too. Kelly, number three. Kelly has just taken. The post of the sales manager in Procter & Gamble. Okay. Taken two. Take it on? No. Mm. I just take him to the post. Taking sales. on, taking over? No. Taking. Taking up. Taking up. Taking up? Up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kelly oh. has just taken Take up. In. Let's go up and, and find out. Not taking on. I think it's taking on. But I don't know. Uh-huh. Star begins something such as okay. 
So you take off is when you start a new job, you start an activity, you start something. It's like a fresh start. So you start up something. So you but, take up. But take on is a set job, task, or responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's like the same, take up, take on. One is to accept and the other both? one is to start. Ah, so okay. because you can say, yes, cool, I see you Monday. So mm -hmm. you accept, but then you start working or you start that precise in, in, a, okay. in a precise day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one is just to take the decision to accept and the other is just the action. To start, okay. To start. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. I always take... Off. I take, take off, off my, my shoes, shoes. Oh. and put my, my slippers shoes. when I get home. Do you guys mm -hmm. do that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. So I always take off. Take off. Very good. Now, take off is also to leave. Guys, it's almost 10. We have to take off. Okay. Like we have to leave. Everybody has to go uh, to their, you know, to do their to have dinner, to go home, mm -hmm. to, you know, to study, etc. okay? To go to sleep, et cetera. Mm -hmm. okay. Pamela took her father as for her character. Mm. She's equally stubborn. After, take after, took after. Took after, what's the meaning of took after or take after? It says, uh, resemble somebody in your appearance, behavior, or character. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. So, take after, it's uh, whenever you have, that's, you're twins with that person in regards to character. So, you're imitating that same character. Mm-hmm. Okay. Usually, it happens. If I, if I ask you, um, do you take after your mother or after your father, guys? So who do you look like the most? Or how do you act more like your mom, mm -hmm. like your dad? Mm -hmm. Do you have the same traits as your mom, as your dad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Because I'm saying, you're just like your mom. You're just like your dad. Okay. So you take after. Mm -hmm. Took after. You see, and they're new. They're new, right? Because they're not very common. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We were so common to take off, take on, but not take after, take away, for example. And if you notice something very interesting about phrasal verbs is that you can actually use them in the parsable too, not only in the infinitive. So you cannot only say take um, after, you say, you can also say took after mm -hmm. or taken after, depending on the context. Mm -hmm. So phrasal verbs not only, can not only be used in the present or in the infinitive. They can be used in the past or in the past particle. Always, they will go always along with preposition, okay? Okay. Um, okay. I'm, I'm going to stop here because I I want you guys to do it on your own. So the, the idea is for you to practice, but remember to visit the, the platform. Are you doing the platform already? Because part of the, the first, actually yes. the first unit, the first knowledge check, it's related to that, like pick up, turn off, clean mm -hmm. up, and so on. It's related to phrasal verbs. I'm just taking the time to do it because I feel that phrasal verbs are very important. And I'm trying to give you um, resources on what to do, what you guys can do to uh, boost it up and to learn more phrasal verbs. These are like super important for you to learn. If you know a lot of phrasal verbs, your, your vocabulary, will amazingly increase okay and you're going to be able to communicate better in english so that's why I'm, I'm taking more time than expected with this precise topic because it's very important it's key okay, okay. so i want you to do the yeah. exercise that i just sent you when you're done send me the screenshot or you can share the screenshot, screenshot. on the group okay? okay like you can take a picture of it send it to see what's your result okay and the idea is for you to practice. There's no perfect score. I'm not waiting for everybody to get a 10 out of 10. And it's more like a practice, okay? The, it's more an exercise. It's not evaluates for you to, to exercise and practice phrasal verbs, okay? Okay. Okay, okay guys. Well, it, thank you so much for connecting all of you, thank okay? You. Tonight, rest. Happy Tuesday. 
See you tomorrow, same time, okay. same place. Okay. Yes. Have a good night. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye, Genesis. Check, Genesis, check your, um, check your connect, your uh, cell phone, the speaker or the earplugs because they're not, we can't listen to you, okay? Okay. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you later.